Hey everybody, welcome back. Ray and I just got done working two 14 hour days down in South Jersey. So we could be here to do this garage edition and uh, house edition for a friend of ours. Uh, we really don't have time to do this, but uh, we just kind of worked harder to make time. But we were here uh, one day last week, right before we went to the expo and we jackhammered out all the concrete and busted up all the blacktop and loaded all that out just because we had the time to do it you know we had a spare day so now we're just uh digging out we're gonna take the topsoil out we're taking the stone out from underneath the pad we're gonna save that for later and uh yes yeah, so we're gonna strip topsoil and then we're gonna dig down along this wall we gotta find a sewer line which comes out i don't know if you can see it right there 13 feet off the corner used to have a on-site septic but then it went to uh, public sewer so we're going to expose this line and then the plumbers coming out tomorrow and they're going to reroute it inside the building and tie it in you can probably see the clean outs right there in the yard so we got to dig all that out so we're just trying to get ahead of the game we got a cat 308 coming tomorrow uh, just because I got to load out all this dirt and the 304 struggles to load a triaxle. Uh, you can do it, but it just struggles to do it. And I want to be able to get this dirt out of here. And I can't really get the truck back because this yard's a lot softer than it looks. It, uh, I don't know, I don't want to lose the truck in the yard. So I'm probably going to have to just bail the dirt over to here. And then I'll sit over there, keep the triaxle over there on something solid and load that dirt out so uh stick with us here i mean something a little different if anybody's out there doing a, a an addition on their house or whatever i mean these are where we're from here in pennsylvania we call these batter boards i don't know what everybody else calls them but you don't typically see them a lot anymore but um yeah it's a good way to uh lay out your foundation one time set your elevations on top of it and then uh you know you just level them up put your elevation on top of it and then you put your screws in there for your layout and then at, at all times during construction you're able to refine all your points uh, these bladder boards provided they don't get hit <laughs> will be uh, used all the way through uh, the footing and then the block work uh, the mason will use those to do his block work so that's what all the the boards are out around here you know that every one of those is a wall line and they all intersect you always set them back so they're out of way of construction but you just tie a string to it and you'll refine your layout right away so yeah stick with us guys we'll uh move some dirt
So we got all our topsoils stripped out. Always save your topsoil, man. It's too expensive to get a truck back in. So we stripped it out four to five feet beyond our building line, all the way around. Put it in a nice neat pile out over the way, out of the way. So now we're gonna dig up this sewer line, find the elevation of that so that we can, uh, yeah, just kind of get this dirt cleaned away from this wall so we can make better time tomorrow when we're loading it out. So then we'll uh, dig over here where the sewer line is gonna be relocated, so. Trying to locate the sewer line here. So, 308 showed up. Not a new one, but it'll do the job. So for anybody that thinks just because we run new equipment, we don't have problems. We have problems. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These uh, hydraulic couplers are awesome. But when they rub through, rub through on that wish, on that dog bone right there, it, it uh, yeah, it rubbed through and it was leaking. So... I learned my lesson years ago <clears throat> to always carry an extra set of these lines in the truck at all times because you never know when one goes, you know, is going to go. And when they go down, uh, when one has a hole in it, you can't run the machine. You're done. So best thing to do is pull the, the uh, main pin out right there and then drop this coupler down. And then you see you got your three lines. That one in the back there is nearly impossible to get a wrench on. I'm sure somebody's got the wrench for it, but I don't. So needle nose and a really strong grip. <laughs> it gets that, gets that on and off, but uh, that operates that piston, which opens and closes the bucket uh, to do the coupler. But um, yeah, so as soon as we get this fixed up, we'll be back to work. But uh, you know, you got equipment, you're gonna have repairs. So we got this thing put back together again few extra parts left over 
but you know how it is you're not getting it all back together after everything's been all bent up over time so got it back together tomorrow morning we'll come in here crush up the rest of this blacktop use it as base in the garage area but we got the uh <clears throat> sewer line all exposed for the plumber and uh got dug down to grade down here so tomorrow we can just pull right off that grade go to work there's the old sewer line we're going to cut that out and then uh got the sewer main sewer line runs down the side of the house this used to have on-site septic and then when they switched it over they just kind of ran it out and around where that porch was so now we're just gonna put a new hole in the wall there, come out, intercept that four inch line right there and goes out to the street. So yeah, pretty frustrating working on the, the hydraulics on that thing, man. Nothing wanted to go back together and there's no room to work. You must have to have like uh, special tools like uh, they did on Seinfeld to operate on a squirrel, something like that. I don't know, man, but man, it was frustrating. So. We'll see you guys again. It's a new day, guys. Ed's digging out a uh, crawl space. We're going down for the footer. Things are running our rental machine today. Like digging and great. No rock whatsoever. So, as we thought, that sewer line used to go out to this septic tank. So now we got to uh, try and get this thing out because we can't have that in our footing line. So, uh, they bypassed this all and brought the 45 to cross here and then tied in to the public sewer. So, we cut that out. Now, we got to get this tank out. So, I'm going to use the mini. So we can dip out the middle and see what's in there. The lid seems to be broken, so see ya.
So we cut out this here on the side because the garage, you can see that pin right there. So we cut this out, put some blacktop in here, get a good solid base in here and give us a little more room up here in the garage. Just waiting on a load of number 57 stone so we can uh, put some stone in here. So when the builder comes in to do his uh, concrete, it doesn't have so much slop as opposed to rain. He's not going to pour this till Monday. So he cut him a nice ramp in here. That's the old septic tank. Couldn't see any reason to take the whole thing out. Cleaned it out. <clears throat> Just pour a footing right across it. I mean, it's solid, so. But yeah, it's turned out real good. I mean, it's nice clean hole. Perfectly level. So, and then uh, plumbers, I guess, aren't coming until tomorrow to tie that in for the uh, sewer line, so. But yeah, I mean, uh, turned out really good just gotta dig the garage footing and put some stone in here and then if the plumbers ever get that done we'll get it backfilled so talk to you in a bit so we put the stone down here in the hole now we're gonna run the 304 down there and level it up a little bit that way they got some stone down there to back up their form so i'll put you up here and hopefully you'll be able to see Don't go digging to the 
bottom. Always just come across the top, take a couple inches at a time. So you don't tear the top of the ditch out. Otherwise, the top of your ditch is all tore out. This soil here, I'm telling you right now, you touch it the wrong way, you look at it the wrong way, and it's gonna fall in, get too deep. So I'm trying to dig a nice clean ditch here for whoever the lucky individual is that gets to lay the block. You can make a mason's life miserable. Got everything all graded off, footing's all dug. Inspector should be here, I don't know, within a half hour. But uh, this stuff's like modeling clay. But <clears throat> Builder thinks he's just gonna pour that full depth. But I had to take it down, step it down, because it was a little gummy, the clay. So we want it good and tight. We don't want the block to crack, or the footing to crack, so. So yeah, we got everything all straightened out here. Builder was in here this morning. Threw some forms in here. So, this is all ready to pour. Just gotta get inspection. And we formed right through that old septic tank. Why well, take concrete out to put concrete back? And you know it's gonna be soft under that tank, so that'll act like a spread footing, but yeah, it's uh, ready to go, man. Plumbers are here to put the, the pipe in. So, yeah, we just got to backfill that, and this one will be a wrap, man. But turned out nice. Now we're off to, what, Catawissa, Pennsylvania. So, be a little bit more time here, and then we'll be all done. So, 
appreciate you guys watching uh please like and subscribe man hit that like button if you don't mind um trying to bring you some good uh entertainment here guys so thank you and uh we'll see you on the next one